Kia ora te whano. Grant with Braun back again with another language lesson for you in Te Reo Māori. Now, before we get into it, I've got two things I want to quickly mention. Number one, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I love having your continued support. Uh, you get notified when all the new videos come out, and it's just a great way for you and I to stay in touch with one another. Now, number two, I want, to, I want you to make sure that you're staying around to the end of the video because I've got a challenge for you. I've got a question for you, and this will really help you improve on your reo after this video. So today's video, as it's titled, uh, three words that you can use to help improve your reo. It's really around the pronunciation of these words. And I tell a bit of a fib. It's actually two words and one phrase. Now, one of the phrases comes from a really popular waiata, and I think it's a really great waiata to work on your pronunciation because it is quite tricky to pronounce. And this, uh, this single line in that waiata, uh, it covers all of those tricky parts of pronunciation that everyone seems to struggle with. So we'll get into it. We'll jump across the screencast, and I'll run through these words uh, on screen with you. I might make my little head here a bit bigger. <clears throat> so, here we go. First word is, so I'm just here on multidictionary.co.nz. Uh, I think it's a really great resource to find new words and, and find the meaning of words. And the other cool thing about it is if you see down here next to this word, so the word that we're going to look at is this, uh, there's this little speaker button. Now, most words on here have a speaker button, and when you click on them, uh, that you can actually get a quick recording of that word being spoken. So uh, I can do that, but before I do that, I want to run through this word in whole. Uh, I want to run through all the parts of it to you know, really help you get a clear understanding of how it is pronounced. So when we're going through pronunciation, one of the hardest things is looking at vowels, six, successive vowels. So uh, words that have two vowels next to each other, words that have three vowels. And in this case, we've got a word that has one, two, three, four, five vowels all in sequence. Now, most people would be probably sitting at home going, oh my goodness, how am I ever going to do that? So we're going to break it down really quickly and nail this thing from the start. So uh, a really good tip, and I'm going to just make my screen a little bit bigger here, is when you are pronouncing vowels, is I find if you really accentuate the your face when you're doing it, so that's your, your tongue, ah, la, la, your lips, mm, uh, your cheeks and your jaw. So uh, we know our vowels are a, e, e, or u. So it's a big a, e, e, o, u, a, e, e, o, u. Let's give you a bit of a side profile view on what it should look like. Uh, so the first bit we've got here is n and the na. That's got the little top hat, the little porti there, the macron. So it's, a, it's an extended a, it's a na sound. The next part we've got is the U and the E. So remember we went through A, E, or U. So we're going U, E, U, E. Uh, and if you, you kind of say those individually and as you speed them up, uh, they kind of blend into each other and that's when you start forming the word. So we're looking at Nga, U, E, U, E. Nga, U, E, U, E. That's a great way to start it. Then once we speed it up, we kind of get this Nga, U, E, U, E. Nga ue ue, nga ue ue, nga ue ue, nga ue ue. And if I click it here, nga ue ue, nga ue ue, nga ue ue, nga ue ue. So that's the first word, nga ue ue. I want you to practice that. The next word, which you might have noticed up the top here, is another another word has uh, no consonants, no hukumana peratawanga fa in it. It's just five vowels, E-A-O-I-A, E-R-O-E-R, 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 E-R-O-E-R. Enough of me saying it. Um, I'll, I'll just play this, play this here. E-R-O-E-R. E-R-O-E-R, E-R-O-E-R. Uh, so really, uh, really expressing and really you know, putting the effort into to making all those proper vowel, not just the sound out of your mouth, but the actual shape with your lips and your tongue and your jaw and all that sort of stuff. It's all, it's all in here. Uh, 
Uh, keep practicing that because that will really help with your pronunciation. Uh, and the last, that's the first two. And the last one we've got here. So it comes from the song called Baikia. And I'm just going to shrink this a little bit for now. So Baikia, uh, you may or may or may have not heard this song. I'll just play a bit of it here. <laughs> Uh, and I've literally just typed in uh, Paikau Waiata and this is the first uh, link that's come up on folksong.org.nz. So this is a good song to learn. Uh, we've learned it at Kapahaka. It's probably the the trickiest out of the you know, 20 or 30 songs we've learned over the years. It's probably the trickiest song to learn because the uh, the speed, the, the change in speed on every single line is different and it can throw people out a lot. So the line I wanted to highlight here is this one down here. And the reason I wanted to highlight it is because it does color R, E, E, O, U. It's got the E. R, E, O, U. And it's got an E at the end there as well. So the line is, Me, A, I, To, U, De. And when you're sort of, when you're sort of singing it in that, uh, that sort of melody, you can actually, you know, really sharply pronounce all those different sounds. So when you, I'll try and actually get to the, the part of the song. No, no, it's a little bit back, sorry. So I have a little sing along to that, so me I to ure, me I to ure, and yeah, just that, that beat, the, I guess the sort of um, the, the continuous sort of beat there, the me ai to ure, it's quite sharp, so you can really pronounce it, whereas these ones you've kind of got to rush through every single sound, every single sound, e a we are, e we are, whereas this one we, we're splitting it up into separate words and we do get to you know, really focus on sharply pronouncing each of those sounds. So that's it. Uh, Eawia and uh, this, this line here in Paikia and overall the Paikia song. So at the start of this video, I, uh, I said, can you please hang around to the end of the video? I do have a question for you. I do have a challenge for you. I'm just going to stop screen share. And that is not just practicing these words, but I'd love to hear from you down below. Uh, I'd love to see in the comments. Uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, please tag me in something. Uh, sorry, if you're on Facebook, Feel free to tag me on a video because I'd love to see you even make a video out of this. But have a go at finding three separate words, three of your other three other words, three words that you found that you have had trouble with in the past, and try and apply some of these techniques we just talked about now. And have a go at pronouncing them. Let me know what the words are, and if you really can make a video, uh, even if you sound terrible. That's perfect. That's what we want. We want to make mistakes so we can continually get better at this. So please do that. Uh, comment section down below or tag me on Facebook. And I'd love to hear how you go with it.